Nemat 23 Stepper Morgan. Fitted to homemade blades out of web and drain pipe. So each blade is about 35 centimetres, what's that? About 14 inches, giving an overall of about uh, 700 millimetres. I'll have to balance it better. I wanted to see now what what we get out of the NEMA 23. This is the the NEMA 23 uh, stepper motor wind turbine that I put together. Um, a little bit heavier than the uh, NEMA 17, but still it's still portable. But just about it it goes on the uh, the painter's pole, telescopic pole, and uh, again just using the uh, the action cam uh, brackets there to uh, to be able to mount the um, little wind vane. I had this bearing assembly. That's what started it off in the box where don't throw it away stuff was, and um, it was handy in as much as it had a. Uh, a tube that just fitted exactly into this bit of PVC. It had a hole through it that would take the uh, the cabling, and also the top of it had a little recess that um, the slip ring just nicely pressed into. So that's what made me um, use it. It's big. Uh, I normally wouldn't be using anything this size. So then I went away and got. Um, a T and uh, end caps and some uh, short uh, stubs and a reducer for the bearing at 75 millimeter uh, PVC and um, I couldn't get schedule 40 I could only get schedule 80 and these turned out to be quite heavy surprisingly quite heavy um, whereas the shed 40 would have been lighter now the um, the stepper motor, the 23 of course, is quite a bit heavier than the, um, the, the 17, but uh, yeah, it's, I went for the T piece so that I could keep the capacitor and the uh, diodes and all down here, and it was a handy place to mount the pintail. Uh, I suppose I could have got away with a 90 degree bend. The bearing, the NEMA 23, and this uh, Shed 80 added a bit of weight all right um, to it. I haven't weighed it, but it has added a bit of weight to it all right. But it's about on the limit of what I can uh, mount on the pole. If I was starting again, I would try and uh, source uh, the Shed 40 to be lighter. And I'd also probably cut back the T-piece by, say, about 20 mil to cost of an inch each way and I would take a, a bit of weight away from it. Before I started to uh, go for the NEMA 23 I started looking around on Google. I came across uh, uh, this Windy Nation. They had a couple of good articles now on uh, small turbines and they had this ratio of V over RPM and they had a factor so that was a good read. But then I, I sort of remembered from my days at school and doing a bit about electrics. I was there and I said, oh yes, I remember the P equals V I cos theta. So the power line, this is for three phase now, the power line would equal the voltage line, the current line by cos theta, which is a power factor, depending on how much um, inductance or capacitance is in the component of the socket. I won't go into it all there now. But. So I just took I took a, an estimate um, of 0 0.8 for cos theta. I couldn't get any information from the stepper motor itself. Now stepper motors, um, the one I picked had a, a, a current per phase of 2.8 amps but the voltage per phase, it's very hard to get that because they don't reference voltage um, online when you're looking at all the various uh, stepper motors. They might say, oh, it's 12 volts, suit for 12 volts, 24 volts, but that's because they use a lot of these speed controllers and that. But looking around, I sort of came to around, picked a figure, say, of 3.2 volts. Um, now, 
you will see some stepper motors that could be up to four amps and you say oh that would be better but it, but that means it needs it has a bigger torque and it would need a bigger turning moment and a more bigger blade so uh, you get too low an amps then and you don't really generate enough watts so I went for this one middle of the ground 2.8 amps so taking that information I went with um, my uh, power say total because uh, the stepper motors are two phases not like a, a three phase but they are a two phase so uh, so the square root of two which is 1.414 by the voltage by the current by the cos theta so I then put in those two figures 3.2 volts and it came out with say that around 10 watts is what should be able to generate from the NEMA 23 so putting that back then, saying that the 10 watts and putting back in, um, I picked 12.6 volts, um, just middle of the road. By the current I want to find out and the, the power factor. And working that out gave me about 700 milliamps. Now if I went to say it was 12 watts, um, I'd get about 840 milliamps. So that would say to me roughly I should be getting about 700 to 800 milliamps out of this uh, particular stepper motor even though I'm guessing a bit just a few estimates now I just also looked at it at 10 watts if it was 12 volts I'd get 736 is it milliamps 12.5 I get 707 13 volts I get 680 at 10 watts so that was my estimate now I did some bench tests uh, at home using um, a battery operated drill that had a setting of 400 rpm and 1400 rpm to give me an idea so a bench test via a book converter the battery was at rest so at 400 rpm like the voltage would come up to 12.55 a little bit of uh, uh, milliamps but no watts at 1400 rpm the voltage is going up in the battery I can get a, a very respectable 1.15 amps which would be 14.8 watts, a bit more than what I'd estimated. So a bit of extrapolating and guessing, so I'm saying around 1000 RPM, I should be getting about 630 uh, milliamps, 8 watts, which isn't too far away from my estimate. So that's what the bench test was, but of course once you go out then and you put into practice, um, you find that you fluctuating winds and your wind direction changes. Wind conditions are varying of course. Let's see what she goes up to now. I did see up to about 14 to 18 knots which would be up to about 20 miles per hour. Now these readings are at the top of the mast about uh, 10 meters up over 30 feet. Uh, we're lucky to be a third of that height so a lot less at the uh, at the turbine. This is coming up there now. 16. I did see her touching 18 at one stage. So it's just generally the winds we have now. I suppose light to moderate, wouldn't be. What are we? What are we getting here now? The winds are kind of light. It was up. Uh, before I turned on the camera when I set up first I was getting six seven hundred milliamps in about uh, twelve to eighteen knots but the wind has eased off now again but yeah turn on the camera and she'll go to zero <laughs> oh yeah Bit of a gust there now, small bit. Yeah, 740. It's not staying up for very long. But yeah, so this, I think this with uh, over uh, 20 knots would have the potential to uh, produce one amp.
I did my test uh, on a three blade but I'm now going to put a five blade onto it and see how that performs. Um, my understanding the five blade would be more suitable for light moderate winds um, and that the three bladed would be for, for stronger winds. I believe the five bladed if the winds get too strong one blade puts foul air onto the other blade and it loses efficiency but we'll see.